Welcome back guys. Call us again. Today, special day. Fuel pump. Accessories. Look at the fuel pump. This fuel pump here, it's a wall bro. Made in the USA. Okay? I'm supporting USA products, okay? So I'm just gonna give you the part number, show you the receipt. It cost me about 80 bucks. And what I gotta do is now I gotta take the uh, fuel sending unit out of the truck. I don't want to take the bed out and I don't want to drop the tank. So what I got to do now is I'm going to have to, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the bed and cut a whole access panel on it. That way I can basically change it if I have to. I don't have to pull the bed out or drop the tank. My tank, my tank right now, it's got fuel in it. It's more than half tank and I don't want to drain that bad boy down. So further ado, once I wire this up, the fuel pump with the wiring harness. And I already have my lines run down. I just gotta give it power, ground, and go to my harness. And the goal is to start the vehicle today. Okay, so some of you are gonna ask me, what's the part number of the fuel pump? Because I've been asked questions already to all my subscribers. And hey, subscribers. So here's the part number. It is a wall, bro. And that's the part number. I did buy it from eBay. That's the company I bought it from at eBay. That's the part number. And 255 uh, liters per hour January wall bro okay and my price it's a little screwed up but it's uh, let me see if you can get that 80 bucks so okay so now the fuel pump I ordered it for a 1998 to 2002 Chevy Camaro LT1 V8 and uh, I know it's gonna work and if not I'll make it work I'll make it fit I have no problem doing that so I'm not afraid let's tackle this problem Let's go do this underneath in between here and the tank on the bottom just to protect it from the sparks so here we go buy myself a new fuel sending unit yeah it's nasty all right let's see what I can do I'm gonna have to clean that up so that I can get to it and no dirt goes inside okay sorry about the shadows but that's what it looks like it's, na it's nasty look at that yep yeah, I'm gonna have to buy a new sending unit guaranteed I'll give this a clean up see how it comes out because the dirt can deceive you. So we'll see. Alright, so. These are the power wires. Just found that out. And I'm following these wires right here. There's four wires total. This one is going right to a ground. 
Let me see if we can check it out. Nope, the shadow's messing with me. All right, let me see if I can go that route. I'm gonna point it out to you. Right there. That's the ground. I gotta take that bolt out. And the wires are going to it. All right, so found out socket, it's a half inch, 13 mil, so I can get this ground that's over here out, so I can remove that fuel sending unit from there. If you can see it, great. Okay, done. Okay, fuel pump is out. I just gotta change the fuel pump right here. Clean that up, put it back in, and here we go. Okay, so the harness, clip these out install my new harness to the one that belongs gray is going to be positive black is going to be negative okay i'll just follow the wires make sure where my ground is just kind of follow it all the way and confirm that's ground and then do a battery test real quick just kind of test the battery see if it's supposed to work and voila so remove replace and install back into the uh, fuel tank all right <clears throat> that safety cap out do, do a little quick uh, just a quick measurement I got a feeling they're gonna work it's gonna fit the same way same thing it's just one's made for Chevy um, Camaro and I got a feeling it's gonna fit right in the base it's gonna work out so let's go ahead and give this a quick shot Okay, so here we go. I want to put it in, start at the bottom of this thing. Oh, so far, so good. And same way I remove this thing, same way I want to install this one. See how it works. If it works, we're in luck. Well, if it. Alright, guys. All done. New pump. You ended up using the same thing. Alright, so. Recap. So what I did now, I was able to wire up because I got to go straight from here to my relays. Got to make sure my ground is ready. So that's good. So the fuel pump ended up fitting in the right way, the way that it's supposed to be. Okay, the boot fit in. This ended up working out. I was missing a spacer. See this spacer right here? This is what was making the whole thing kind of sloppy. And then I put a zip tie on it just to hold it in place. Uh, remember guys, now the fuel pump, okay? The gray wire is positive. The black wire on the fuel pump is negative, okay? Now the sending unit, as we see right here, that's got a purple wire, okay? So that's the purple wire here. That's the purple wire. Coming up from here, boom, attaching purple wire right here. So I marked it, sending unit. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun, sending unit. And I marked my, the other one, fuel. Fuel, okay. So I, extend, I extended my wires and I did the same thing. Each wire I marked it, fuel pump, 
and of course the other one sending unit okay <clears throat> I'm just gonna go right back in uh, snake the wires through the bottom and I'm gonna route my positive from the fuel pump I'm gonna leave the sending unit out I don't worry about the I'm not gonna worry about the level I'll tap onto it later but we'll see um, send it up to my relay and then I'll see if I can wire up the relay from there I'm gonna see if I can start up put the battery in see if I can start up the engine so I just gotta find ignition hopefully I can start it so here we go guys There you go, we're gonna send these wires out towards the front. I'll figure out a way how to hide them anyways. So. Alright, so ground's already done. Just gotta put everything back together. This is just a purge valve right here. Get you closer so you can see. This one's the e purge valve, the EVAP. It's just a vent. That's it, no big deal. This one is the one. This one's return. This one's input. Input's always the bigger one. And the hoses always lay. They always fall where they're supposed to be anyway. So, see? There you go. No way of getting these confused. It looks normal. It looks natural. That's the vent for the gas cap. So I'm just going to go and tighten these up. And then same thing here. Just a little o-ring so it don't need to be super cranked just enough that should be good enough all right this hose is in the way for me right now Good enough for me. All right, so everything back together. Just gotta grab that clamp that's there. Already tightened up the lock ring on this thing here. And tighten up my clamp. If I have another problem, then I could always go back in. There's no need for me to drop the tank or lift the bed. I'll make this cover nice looking so that it doesn't look too crazy. There you go. Done. And all I gotta do is figure something to make it look nice and clean. That's all. Use, using the same cover. So I'll probably put hinges or something. I'll figure something out. All right, guys. That part is done. Okay, so I went online, bought myself the harness. You guys already saw me install it. That's the part number, that's what I got. So now when you guys saw me, Throw that wire on that fuel pump, right? All right, here's this schematic right here. Let me show you where their sun is. The fuel pump relay, okay? That's the one I'm focusing on, fuel pump relay. That's what my harness looks like. So here it is. There it is, right? That's my harness, just like it looks like on a schematic. So that's my fuel pump. 
already marked it fuel pump okay so that wire you flip the harness on the back side right that gray wire okay that I pulled through I already was able to connect that to that relay it's already set in the back there it is right here boom I already installed it now I got one more wire because every relay has to have four wires right so one two the black the red and the green right so now I gotta connect this one to switch or constant power and that's gonna go on that number 30 on the relay okay so that's all I gotta do give myself uh, hook up the battery plug that to the battery and uh, hook up a switch and I want to just hear the engine run I'm gonna tighten up all my clamps okay I'm gonna tighten up all my clamps here we go so the hardest thing uh, I had to do now I gotta go to my fuel side over here uh, let me see right there I just have to tighten up right there the fuel lines just gotta make sure they're tight once they're tight top and bottom both of them one at the bottom one at the top tighten those up that way I don't have any fuel leaks and um, put the battery on give it power and this baby is gonna start that's the goal if I did everything right it should start I don't have my hoses connected to it yet I'm gonna actually gonna take the belt out I put the belt in looks good um, I'm gonna take the belt out that way it doesn't spin the fuel pump, um, the power steering pump, I'm sorry. And it won't spin the idler and all that stuff. It's just running. Don't need to spin the water pump. There's no water in there. So, just want to hear it run for a little bit. 30 seconds worth. So, right now I'm running out of sunlight. When you see the next clip on this video, it's going to be the next day. Because it's getting a little late now. It took me all day to do this and cut this and get the fuel lines all set up on that fuel sending unit. So, you guys are going to see me next clip. It's going to be the next morning, and we'll see you then.